Hey guys, welcome to Convolution. My name is Khan, and right now it's, uh, I believe, it's part three of my Final Fantasy VII Remake journey, but at part four on YouTube, actually, because I split up part two into two parts, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy, because in my part one, we got to meet Jesse. Part two, we got to meet Aerith, and of course, part three, we got to meet Tifa. Damn, all the good pop, man. Dude, Cloud is a lucky man, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, as you can see. I'm standing right in front of the beautiful seventh heaven, oh my god, surrounded by the majesty that is the morning in Midgar, holy freaking shit. Look at this shit, guys, okay, so I already spent like a, like a good 10 minutes just walking around town, let's take a look at the various things, I got a couple of items, like a high potion and stuff, and also I collected some songs. Apparently, if you walk through some of these locations, you can actually find like uh, some songs like here. Yeah, like listen to the song. Oh shit! Yeah! Damn, dude, they beep up the freaking hell out of the freaking Chocobo song, man. Hell yeah. So it's called 27 Hip Hop de Chocobo. Hell's the freaking yeah, right next to a pizza shop with this guy carrying a knife for like no reason. Something tells me they uh that knife ain't for slicing pizza, you know what I'm saying? Haha! <laughs> oh man, dude, the song is freaking awesome. Oh finally we got to see a dog. We've just been seeing freaking um uh, what do you call cats? Let me show you guys. There's like this crazy place with a cat. I haven't gone into the seventh heaven yet. Oh, by the way, look who it is. Hello there. You must be that friend of Tifa's I've heard so much about. See? The mercenary? I've got fingers in a few pies myself. Work with a lot of businesses. Even Seventh Heaven, on occasion. <laughs> what I'm saying is, you and me, we're not so different. And certainly not complete strangers. In fact, I want you to think of me as family. You know, an uncle or maybe a distant relative. Okay, uncle. Oh, but while I have you here, you wouldn't happen to be interested in grappling guns, would you? <gasps> Great for getting up or down in a jiffy. Hell yeah! I ordered some for a client, but I accidentally added a zero, and now I have a ton to spare. Oh, I was shit. thinking of setting up an attraction where you jump from the top of the Shinra building. You know, for the adrenaline junkies. Hell yeah, but that shit'll come in handy! Shinra didn't think it was such a great idea. <laughs> of course they wouldn't. They don't want people breaking into their tower of power. Hey, Mark, what's with the glum face? You know, you ought to meet my son, Johnny. Yep, Turn Johnny, boy. Upside down. He's got a big old heart and a real way with people. Can't help but cheer him up. Yeah. Or maybe that's just how I see him, because he's my son. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Okie dokie. So there's more cool stuff around here. Hold up. Just got to check something real quick. Make sure the camera is working. Yep, camera is working fine. Sorry. Uh, sit back here. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh man, I'm so freaking excited! As you guys can see on my sword, I have two materia attached to the sword and one to my bangle. Let's take a look once more. I have what do you call um HP up materia, obviously. I have deadly dodge material, which is absolutely phenomenal. Phenomenal, and I actually had to look up the information about how to uh, counter. And apparently, you hold on to the command. You you press command, and you hold guard. And the moment an uh, enemy attacks you while you're in guard mode, uh, that's when you do a parry. Uh, and of course, fire material. The only other material I have is healing material, which I don't really want to use because I just want to stay to potions for the time being. And um, in terms of battle settings, yeah, I'm good with my, you know, settings for the time being. Let's see. Yeah. Ooh, look at all this shit. Look at all this shit. Damn, dude. Man, just look at the slums. You can even see, like, I thought, you know, it was just going to be like a shiny exterior outside of the edges of Midgar. But if you look closely, you can actually see clouds. Like, that's how detailed the freaking environment is, dude. I mean, just look at this shit. I wonder, I'm, I'm sure... So there was an item here. So, uh, what do you call it? Yeah, but I got it. I think it was like a potion or something. Um, what do you call I, I'm sure somebody's gonna break this game. Um, what do you call in terms of uh, being able to like fly, you know, like in Final Fantasy 15, somebody like scoured through the entire freaking uh, world of Aeos, you know? And uh, I'm sure they're gonna do that, but I'm, I'm so, I think they'll find a little bit more detail. Shit. Not always there? Huh. Don't know how we 
missed it during the inspection. Okay, so this was funny when I walked near them. Apparently they're selling like uh, uh, used or used or like stolen goods. But some of these goods, it's like the detail in this game is freaking amazing. One of these uh, bags has like blood stain on them. And so there's like, you know, you question like how, where the hell did they come from? There's like weird details in this thing, man. The vacant lot up ahead is overrun with wild beasts. Mm -hmm. Best steer clear unless you're looking for trouble. Even if you are, be careful. <laughs> yeah, and of course you got some other people like selling some other stuff. Yeah, you know, it's kind of like a black, it's a very small black market for, you know, stolen goods from Shinra. I mean, that's, what they, that's all they can do, man. It's like a freaking slums. So we come to this like open field, which I thought was actually just extra area for construction. But I bet you freak- Oh, I, dude, I totally forgot an item here. How did this not come to my attention before? Three freaking grenades. I got to use all my grenades. I got grenades attached to my, you know, uh, shortcut square. So you can tell like we're going to have to fight like something over here eventually. Because, you know, I mean, it's, uh, come on. It's a total given. All right. And, and just the day-to-day -day conversations of the people in the slums, it's absolutely amazing. Like, you know, listen to some of these people talk. It's crazy, man. They talk about their day-to-day -day lives. Some people are having affairs on other people. You ever take a stroll down Colbert Street? Of course not. Full of thugs and creeps, isn't it? Nah, just some sketchy stores. Not the least bit curious? Hmm, yeah, see? I know if that's my thing. There's a couple of like, you know, food markets. Some creepy dude who hit on me was asking all kinds of strange questions about Seventh Heaven, about Barrett and the other members of his crew. Oh yeah, some people are questioning, you know, uh, about our crew. This dude, it was actually singing this hymn to I believe that weird strap, scrap dog poster we saw in, in, the, in um, the upper plate. Do something. Damn, look at the design on some of these characters, man. It's so freaking cool. We got an item shop, but it's apparently closed at the moment. Today's special high potion! Oh, actually, I haven't I, I didn't walk through this place. Look at this, so cool. So, here's the map, obviously, you know, like you walk through some of these areas. So, I, I basically scoured everywhere. Right here, I'll show you, there's a shit ton of cats. And apparently, there's a cat whisperer, too. So I'm, I'm bet you anything. Oh, well, just from hearing all that, I can smell a side quest. Here we go. Okay. So. Missed out on my chance to live next door to Tifa. Yep. We got a Tifa fan over here, Be and he missed his chance to li live next to Tifa because Tifa, Tifa was saving that spot for us, bro. Her childhood beloved. See, I love these cats. They don't run away from you. Look, look. Haha, -ha. hello kitties. They don't walk away at all. I, I, one does question why all these cats are here in the first place. And so that's why I'm just saying side quest all the way, man. This is all about that side quest life. Because uh, I forgot where they were talking about it, but there's literally a cat whisperer as well. So we might have to communicate with these cats like in some various RPGs out there, you know what I'm saying? But who knows? Who knows? This is awesome. People live into empty room at Stargazer Heights, but someone beat me to it. Yep. Tis was tis twas I. Oh, these guys doing some squats and some sit-ups. I wonder if I can block this guy's Nah, see, yeah, you got Cloud is too much of a gentleman, man. Like I try to walk. Oh, you can't you can't get in the way. Oh, oh, he stopped actually. Oh no, he's just taking a break. Even our facilities are So if you go up, oh, there's a weapon shop down there as well. So we got some item shops and some weapon shops. It's all pretty cool. This part is restricted for the time being. There was another item here as well. We just like even our facilities are starting to look. Slide down. And just the music playing in the background, dude. And there's people here who are pe the people who are down here. Most of them are in the live in the slums, and there's some who actually work in the Shinra building, like the people who are uh, confronting Barrett about you know avalanche and stuff, and pissed off, pissed him off, and he took their seat. 
Yeah, we got some, you know, uh, local small gangs or, you know, crews. People washing their clothes, chocobo flyers. We got more um, awesome, uh, what do you call, sales of clothes and whatnot. Oh, dude, this guy's like, you know, sharpening his knife. It's just the day-to-day -day lives of Midgar that we never got in the or that we've imagined from the original game, but that we're able to get now. Tifa's got a knack for serving the perfect drink. Something hard, but Tifa got the knack for a lot of th these are the guys I was talking about. It was those avalanche terrorists that bombed the reactor. We won't let them beat us. Not ever. Right. Once the trains are running, we'll head to the office and do whatever we can to help. That's how we can fight back against terrorism. Yeah, so there's some good people here who just, you know, might be on the wrong side, right side. It's kind of iffy. Are reserved for someone tonight. Someone important. So make sure it's in top condition. Got it? Y yes, sir. Ooh. Ooh, are we going to use these bikes later? I wonder if they're keeping it from for somebody in particular. came down to visit me, and she looked like a completely different person. I wish I could live topside like her. You're already getting to see a little bit of the economic disparity, you know, like the different classes. Like the top plate is literally a social class above the lower plates, you know. These posters are of yeah, uh, from Avalanche posters, obviously, and they talk about you know giving back to the planet. This is all Avalanche's fault. We still have all the fires. Yep. Apparently, the Sector Eight Expressway collapsed. Please give me a job. Yeah. Ask your parents. I don't have any. Oh shit! You hear that? I mean, it's just like, you know, the people who end up in the slums are people who literally have no one else. It's not that simple. Plus, there's no guarantee it'll help her get a high-paying job. Yeah, I don't even like studying. Damn, dude! Cats everywhere. More people than usual. Just everything, man. Everything about this. There's certain stairs that you just can't climb, man. If the planet's a living being, we should be learning more about it. Are you serious? Yeah, and they're people who are literally questioning the philosophy of the planet versus the philosophy of Shinra. Obviously, we see some people in the slums who are, you know, having it difficult. They're more susceptible to believing that, you know, the truth about the planet and whatnot. And the people who are obviously living in the higher, um, the higher areas, you know, the upper plates and whatnot, they like to believe in Shinra. So it's very, it's, it's. It very much the mimics. On the plate too, right? Nope. That's not fair. <laughs> exactly, you know, it's not fair because there's literally monsters down here, yo. You know, the fiends. So we it's absolutely insane. And it's like, uh, it just oh, goes to display that. Oh, what the hell is this guy doing? Today. What's a little kid trying to pull the... He's trying to be the next cloud. Trying to pull an item stronger than himself or, you know. Oh, wait, what the hell? There's another dude doing this. This must be his dad. This must be his dad. I've heard of them. They hate everything Shinra stands for or whatever, right? There's a picture of President Trump. I mean, uh, President Shinra. <laughs> yep, yep. Damn, dude. So I'm just walking through here, like, to, to get a good glimpse of what everything looks like. Just look at that, man. Look at how that looks. Okay, so this is the second song, and it's titled Barrett's Theme, which we got over here. I actually had to buy it from this shop. So we got to see a weapon shop, a potion shop, and as well as an, uh, what do you call, uh, an item shop right here. So an obviously. Oh, I do, but... Damn! But we're being watched. Flattered, you want to watch, but we're not into that kind of thing. Okay, all right, I got you, in, buddy. <laughs> and there are people who are literally out of jobs right now because the train is literally not coming. You know? Are you kidding me? Service is suspended. How will I get to work? Exactly. You owe us. I'm truly sorry, but all I can say is the whole of Shinra's railway division is working to rectify this issue. This guy looks like the Tom Hanks character from Polar Express. Uh -huh. Okie dokie day. Barrett's theme is playing, so... Yeah, so like, if you go... Like, I, when I came around here the first time, basically, uh, where is it? Inventory music collection. 
There you go. So you got bear theme, you got the hip hop dead chocobo. Bruh, so good, bruh. All right, let's go into Tifa shop. Just, I, mean, I just love that, you know, the slums are like this, man. And it's, it's just so, so fleshed out. It's just beautiful. Man, look at this, look at the detail. Holy crap, man. So good. And the music in the background just adds to that. Anyways, I could go on all day about this. I know, I'm taking a little detour. I know, calm down. I'm taking a little detour. I still can't believe that nice young girl who lived next door ran off in the night. Probably with that punk boyfriend of hers. She even stuck a note on the door saying, don't come looking for me. Yeah, it's just everybody just, you know, it, there's gossip, there's scheming, there's, you know, there's like rumors spreading and whatnot. And there's a shit ton of cats and the cat whisper. But, um, yeah, it's just everybody living out their day to day lives in the slum. This guy's carrying a sack of, I don't know, potatoes or rice. It's nuts, man. This is nuts. Oh, hey, look at this. There's kids. Stop <laughs> Wait, these kids are way too chummy chummy. Oh my god, that- I told Dad we're getting married and moving topside. What? He just laughed. Why'd you tell him about our secret plans? I don't know. Oh. Aw, I guess that's kind of cute. Kids trying to, you know, uh, move up in the world, literally. Oh, stupid kids games are stupid. Yeah, this guy's got another intention. So this is a playground. One, what the two, frick? They're literally one, playing with pipes. One, That's kind of two, dangerous. Shoot. All right, I'm gonna come in between two, you guys. Shoot. Can I? Nah, oh, I can. Yes. Oh, wait, no, I can't. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, what? Seriously, they can go through me? Wow. Okay. So there's a little glitch in the game, just a little one, bit. Two. They got some, you know, some some sort of recreation down here. Sometimes that's all you need, man. Damn, and there's literally locations where um, are barred off because the upper plates are literally throwing trash down to the lower plates, like freaking Alita Battle Angel style. Uh, you know, actually Alita Battle Angel is very much like Midgard. I didn't think about that before, but yeah. And of course, last episode we got to see this wonderful lady. Is your face always that pale? You're not getting enough sleep. No, it's, I swear it's the Mako, man. It's the Mako poisoning! Let's go. Okay, so I'm, it's time to go talk to Tifa! Ooh, what is that? What symbol is that? Symbol for Phoenix? No. What is that? I don't know. Maybe like a fighting dojo? Damn. Look at all this. Look at all this. It's so good. So many food areas, man. Alright, so we're in the seventh heaven. So the seventh heaven attracts a lot of customers. Why? Because it's literally like the only like place where you can get good drinks around here, man. It's a sad day when people get more about what's in their wallet. Yep. What's happening to the planet? It is true. That true that man. Even today, even in real life. All right, moving on with the story, guys. I don't think that I pretty much scoured the uh, whole entire area, and I don't think there's much left. Ugh, it's a cloudy day. It's a cloudy day. Here we go. Tifa. Morning. Hey. Morning. Just so you know, Marlene's still asleep. <laughs> Aww. Let's get down to business, shall we? Yes. These water filters won't replace themselves. Although the next batch probably could, if Jessie put her mind to it. <laughs> Most every home in the area has one. Folks love them because they practically eliminate the rotten egg smell. Honestly, they make us more money than this place. And it's easy money, too. We bring new filters, <laughs> collect the old ones, and get paid. <laughs> what? Cloud's not interested. Break. I'm not a salesman. I'm a soldier. First class? No one will refuse to pay. What do you say? Uh, Please? Hey, come on, come on. You can't, you can't, you can't uh, say no to those eyes, let's man. Get this over with. 
Yeah. Well, great. And while we're at it, I'll give you the grand tour. Well, I actually took the grand tour by myself, but yes, I'll I'll take another one with Tifa any day, bro. Oh, hey, look at this. I didn't realize it last time, but this is the this is where the thing goes down. This really leads to the secret underground base. You know what I'm saying? Spoiler alert. So, and of course, ooh, there's a song. You hear that? So, there we go. Yeah, we got to collect another song. There we go. Use the jukebox to play your favorite tunes. You can add more songs to the jukebox. But yeah, I remember this. So, music collector. Tifa's theme obtained. Sweet. So, like, we can literally put in one. We're gonna add Hip Hop Chocobo. Come on. Hip Hop the Chocobo. Oh, shit. Can Cloud dance? Here we go. Wait for that drop. Yeah! Yo! If Prompto was here, he would love this song, bro. Man! I want to ride my chocobo all day! and keep whatever we collect. Seeing as you didn't bring any luggage, I'm guessing there's stuff you need to buy. Thanks. And don't worry, we'll pay you the difference after. Barrett's out making his rounds too. As long as I get it all today. Somebody just said, don't take your eyes off it. I promise I won't. Ooh, I like the music here too. Hey there, here to change out your water filter. Ooh. Tifa, baby, how you doing? Been waiting oh, for you what? To... Wait, let me see. Cloud's in charge of collections. He'll take your money. Yes! That sounds like a pretty sweet gig. If you ever need someone to fill in, I'm your man. In your dreams, maybe. <laughs> huh? Cloud? Uh, since we're here, maybe we should do a little shopping. Suppose I could take a look. Shop for what though? This is an oh, this is just an item shop. I I like I actually had like fourteen hundred gil, but um, I used some up. Yes. <laughs> okay, we, materia. Hello. What? You telling me we can already buy ice? Well, actually, we could do that in the original game, so that makes sense. But I only have seven ninety one, bro. What do I? I'll... Uh, I gotta take one of these for sure. Okay, first of all, let's see what items are available. I have three antidotes, four Phoenix Downs, potion, the prelude. The prelude. Okay, I, I'm definitely gonna, I, cause I want to collect all these songs for sure. Yeah, cause that's the one they're playing in the background. Right? Yeah, and the materia for sure. But dear Lord, do I wanna? Man. Okay, hold up. Ice material. I feel like lightning material will come in handy more. Yeah. Right, right. Oh, if we, and if we uh, add Tifa to the party, we'll be able to add that in as well. Anyways, uh, let's see if what I can sell. Materia, well, I really don't want to sell any material at the moment. Um, Potions only give me so much, man. I'll have to get come back and get ice material later. Phoenix down. Ether. I have eight ethers. I could sell one. Would that be smart? I don't know. Oh. You know, uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Kind of don't want to. You know what? That's what I'm going to do. I want to sell one ether. Right. And I want to sell... One, two, potions. I got 500 right now. I will buy me an ice material. Thank you very much. Now we got a lot. Okay, and we got only 41 gil, but don't worry. We're going to do some side quests. We're going to do all that shit and get our gil back up, as Tifa said. Here we go. Thanks. Yep. If you're ever in the market for anything else, drop on by. Especially if Teep is with you. Uh, we'll uh see you calm over. down. Okay? And let us know when your filter next needs changing. Calm down, homie. It's, it, you know what's funny, though? It's like, look at this jukebox, right? 
but you use CDs. It's, it's, it's a strange, this world is a strange combination of old and new, or old, rather old school and modern, or industrial uh, age and modern age uh, technology. Very strange indeed, but that's cool. But uh, this guy is uh, too much. Where are you, Tifa? Tifa? Tifa! He's a regular. Stock up here and he might throw in a freebie or two. Awesome. For you, maybe. <laughs> well, you could try being a little nicer. Mm. To get free shit? Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Our next stop is Stargazer Heights. Landlady's client. Just a landlady? Then you know what to expect. Remember, she's a good friend of Avalanche, so be nice. Please. Of course. She seems like a nice lady. Cloud, don't F this up, man. Don't F this up. You got a good thing going. You got a nice nice little place, okay? Even though it happens to be uh, just a door away from, you know, some crazy chef, Sephiroth remnant buddy. Anyways, uh, let us do some materia. Fire materia? Well, yeah, let's change it to... Actually, I actually want to try ice materia. Just a little bit. Because I want to try lightning material with Barreto. There we go. So we get a good look at the environment. Um, what is that? That is a rest spot. Right. Wait, that is a rest spot? Wait, what? Oh, no, that's a bending machine. What the hell am I saying? Oh, plus it's a rest spot as well. Bending machine and sh rest spot. So, I'm, yeah. I gotta go back and check that, actually. What is this? Well, that doesn't show us much. Uh, that is the item, item shop. That is, of course, another uh, jukebox. So it doesn't technically reveal everything all at once, even though I've already been to it. Anyways, uh, yeah. Apparently, it was done by a terrorist group called Avalanche. This is the first. Time. Nothing to report. Maintaining surveillance. Hey, Marl. Got some filters for you. Tifa, my dear, dear girl. Oh, what's he doing here? Relax. Working. Mm -hmm. Be nice. <laughs> Cloud's helping me with collections. You better take care of her. I'm pretty good at taking care of myself, you know. That I do. Still, better him than you. <laughs> no charm, no wit, big sword, but no skills. What are you talking about? Skills? Yeah. Be nice. <laughs> I'm doing my best. You're looking awfully glum. Are you getting enough sleep? You already asked me a that, lady. Long rest to cure anything, I tell you. A tried and true lesson for life on the ground floor. Am I right? Damn, that Tifa. you are. Now, your money. Mm. Thanks, Marl. You Sweet. take care of yourself. Sweet. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. <laughs> take a break. <sighs> oh, wow. I, something about looking at that bed. Oh my God. Take a break and rest, spot recover your HP and MP. Yes. Uh, awesome. All right, we gotta do some tasks. We gotta do a job. Get some of that money. Bring Mars home that world. chicken turkey. Mm. Been here a while now? Five years, give or take. But never mind that. We've gotta get you your money. Last yeah. stop is the weapons store. The trains don't start moving again. We're gonna have enough food and other goods to go around. Hey, if it isn't T. Ooh, the weapons store is actually open now. Ooh, damn, look at all these peeps. Ooh, nice, nice. Hey, uh, that last filter didn't do shit. We're so sorry about that. Hopefully this one will work better. <laughs> Save your excuses and get out. Wow. All right. If you could just settle your bill, we'll be on our way. Mm. The hell? You charging me for your busted ass goods? Relax. My associate handles payment disputes. Huh. Think you can mosey up in here and have it your way? Pretty please. Oh. <laughs> Thank you very much. Seeing as we're done with our rounds and you've got a small fortune now, why not take a gander at the weapons? Well, when will Barrett be back with the rest? 
Before we open up tonight, <laughs> it'll be a while yet, so what do you want to do? Don't really know. In Everything case, with you! I've got a suggestion. Want to hear it? Yes, yes. If you're serious about becoming a merc, then you're going to need to start making connections. It's mm. not what you know, but who you know, you know? Yeah, hm, sort of. Another lesson for life on the ground floor. Mm -hmm. Yep. Connections get you jobs. Jobs build your rep. Mm -hmm. And more rep gets you better connections. Yeah. How do I start? Hmm. Why not help out the neighborhood watch? They're mostly volunteers, but you'll get to know people. Yeah, okay. Didn't see anybody at the office, so let's head up top. Cool. I mean, he just, the Cloud just said pretty pleased to this mofo. Alright, where'd he go? Your family safe? And with a weapon of your own, come and check out our selection. Speak with our friendly staff to find the perfect weapon for you and your needs. Holy shit. This is crazy, bro. He, bro Cloud just, the, that other guy, Cloud just said pretty much, oh no, the, here he is, the asshole. Cloud just pretty much said pretty please in the most passive, aggressive, intimidating way I could ever imagine to say pretty please. He didn't even pull out his sword or nothing. I ain't got nothing for a punk ass bitch like you. What? Get on out of here. Man, you lucky. You lucky Tifa's with me. I don't pull out my sword. I wonder. Think there's any way they can make our guns a little bit lighter? Uh, could always ask the arms dealer's dad about it. People making they got a little shooting range over here to nice. Keep you and your family safe and with a weapon of your own. Ooh. Come and check out our Look selection. At that transition from inside to outside. Oh, so this is where Sorry, I, like I was walking up here earlier, but oh, I guess you can go up now. Ooh, interesting. I'll head on down there first thing tomorrow. Not alone, you won't. Tifa, do I go in here? Huh? Oh shit! Didn't oh! You know you were holding down the fort. Huh? Oh, hey, Cloud. Um. Looking to join the neighborhood watch? Hell's yeah. That depends. What does this neighborhood watch do? Uh, lots of stuff, really. Our top priority is taking care of any beasts that wander into town. Yes. That, and teaching the locals how to defend themselves. Like they say, the only one who will look out for you is you. Yep. Cloud's a great fighter, but only we know that. If no one knows him, no one will hire him. Right. But if he joined the watch, he could get his name out there. That would work for everybody. <laughs> Truth be told, we could really use your help. We can't pay you in gil, but we'll work something out. Then what can you pay me with? For example, aha! Uh -huh. What about your sword? Uh, no touching. It no oh! It's fine just the way it is. No? Uh, you some kind of purist? <laughs> I know I'd never pass up a chance to improve my gear. Right. Come on. At least let me show you how it's done. <laughs> yes, upgrade time, Cloud. Give him the Buster Sword. Yeah, it's filled with scratches, man. Let him polish that shit up for you. You can now enhance your weapons, spend SP skill as uh, well skill points to unlock special skills infused in. Oh yo, that's cool. Yes, begin tutorial. Uh, you can enhance weapons and unlock weapon skills through upgrade weapons. Okay, I press X. Uh, first, select the character whose weapon you'd like to upgrade. Press X to select Claudio. The number on the right of each weapon is the max SP. P value a value which increases as the character levels up. Okay. Next, select the weapons you'd like to upgrade. Press X to select the Buster Sword. And the number next to it is the amount of SP you can spend on that weapon. Okay. Hello. Oh right. I remember seeing this. Unlock weapon skill and enhance your weapons. Weapon skills can be unlocked using SP skill points. Every weapon has its own SP pool. Uh, use L or select weapon skill. Um, select weapon skills to unlock. Okay. All right. Wow. Ooh, you can. Wow, this is neat. You could zoom out and then zoom back in. Okay. This is attack plus 5, increase attack power attributes, a magic attack power plus 5, um, for max HP, I got 10 SP, SP 4, max HP plus 100, um, enhanced punisher, 
Punisher mode. Well, I barely use Punisher. Uh, magic attack up. Oh, magic attack power. Max HP. Oh, which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? Oh goodness. Well, we can we can do much. We can do a couple of them. But so first, let's try attack power. Right. And then magic attack power. There you go. So I can do a couple of them, and then when we get more skills up, we can do even more. So. Let's leave it at that for now. Okay, you can automate SP allocated allocation by selecting a weapon and pressing triangle to change your weapon upgrade settings. Select the settings that best accommodate you. Okay. Unlocking skills and all kinds of benefits such as boosting weapons, stats, increasing your material slots. When a character levels up and the max SP of their equipped weapon increases, the weapon also levels up. The higher the weapon, the more type of weapon will become available. Interesting. Wait, the higher the weapon level, the more types of weapon skill- Oh, right, 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 right. I thought, you know, the higher the weapon level, wait, I was like reading like, wait, do you get more weapons? Nah. Okay, so, where am I? Weapons in cloud, right? So, oh, so I'll the upgrade weapon, that's what the upgrade weapon is. Okay, so you look at that. <laughs> Why am I yawning? Um... Here we go, so yeah. Leveling up gives you SP. You use that SP to boost up your weapon power. Boosting up weapon power equals more skills, which you can use in combat to level up even more. All it's set. a vicious cycle of improvement. Needless to say, you'll have to try it out to appreciate the difference. Thanks. <laughs> cool, we'll do you one better. Spread the word to everyone who listen about the new Merc in town. <laughs> Between him and Wedge, there isn't anyone they don't know. I'll march through the streets singing your praises, even on an empty stomach. Oh my god. So, where are these monsters? Scrap Boulevard. Good hunting. Hey, Cloud, I'll come with. No. Hell yeah. I've got this. No, but you come. You don't know the way, do you? We don't. <laughs> sure thing. I know these streets better than anyone. Yep. Oh, people joined our party! Success! We in, bruh! Here we go. Oh, by the way, in referring uh, reference to what freaking Wedge said about like going across the streets and shouting his name, does anybody get like you know callbacks to freaking uh, Vaughn and Bosch? You know, b back um, with when they were in Bujerba or wherever, is like I'm I'm uh, Bosch Von Bronsenberg. Bosch lives. You know, some crazy shit like that. Oh my god. Let me have a look at your sword when you get back, huh? Sure. This isn't just a cover. We really do want to keep the neighborhood safe. Yes. We grew up here after all. Right. Just so you know, the watch relies on residents' donations. Cool. Working for the neighborhood watch is the best kind of cover. Sure. Won't be anyone who doesn't know about the new Merc when we're through. Yep. You can go all over town, meet all kinds of people, and no one bats an eye. Yep. Won't be anyone who doesn't know about the yep, new yep, Merc when yep, we're yep. Tifa, let's see your stats, girl. Here we go. Materia, Materia. Oh, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait, what? This one's already equipped to Cloudo? Okay, yeah, Cloud's already got this, so we gotta strap something different. Um, yeah, she's still got the bronze bangle. However, let's see what materials. Chakra material allows you to restore your own HP and cure poison with chakra. The amount restored. Restored is relative to damage received and more is restored to lower your HP. Wait, allows you to restore your own HP and cure poison with chakra. Okay. The amount restored is relative to the damage received and is more res as and more is restored to lower your HP. Interesting. So it's kind of like a uh what do you call heal and cure mixed together in a way? Anyways, let's strap on that materia. Let's see, uh, what can we give her? We'll give her lightning material. So now we have uh, uh, all the items um, attached, sort of, and all the elements attached, manner of speaking. Um, yeah. 
let's see, level 10, nice, nice, very nice. Uh, upgrade weapons, Tifa Ham, or your little glove, Tifa. I don't know if we want to use skill points to like. Oops, sorry, I dropped. I don't know if we should use skill points to upgrade weapons now when. Wait. So I think, actually, I think leather gloves? Can we use skill points to upgrade the leather gloves or should I wait to upgrade it la later when I have stronger equipment? I don't know, man. Uh, let's go with max MP. Speed, speed's always nice. Um, I think Tifa's all about speed. Max MP, max HP, increase attack power, speed. Hmm. Well, speed, uh, speed in the original game would be on like your ATB gauge, but maybe that's what it. Yeah, speed could be an ATB gauge. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's do speed. And then let's do one more, which is uh, max HP up, max HP, uh, max MP. Uh, so attack power. Yeah, she she'll be in the front line, so I'll increase that as well. Okie dokie, let's go. And there we go, battle settings. Uh, ooh, kick with this. Here we go. Somersault. She's got one. Um, spells. We could do thunder. Um, potion sounds good. Dive kick, yes. Uh, unbridled strength. Hmm. Okay, I think that's good enough. We'll have to try her out. And let's go. Here we go. Alright, Tifa. Tifa. Anything here? Anything here? We're getting. Wait, let's see. Anything here worth getting? I don't know, man. Here we go, here we go. Can I walk through this way? Oh, it looks like you're having a bad day. Try getting more sleep. Wait, where, where was I headed? Scrap Boulevard is out west. He has the barricades supposed to keep the monsters out. Oh, anyway, so, oh we should prepare cool. just in case. So let's go fight some monsters. So we're heading the searching for candidates. Wait, searching for candidates. Searching for candidates. Unfortunately, we can't talk to him yet, but he's obviously a very crucial sub, uh, side quest uh, individual. If any harm comes to her. Oh, oh, they're threatening me for Tifa. Damn, Tifa! Holy crap, her rep is like so good here. All right, Here's all Tifa. right. I can see why monsters would feel right at home. Mm -hmm. And the more we pile up, the more they show up. All right, well. Monsters, where are you? I want to hear Devil Trigger playing in the background. Okay, let's see how big this place is. Oh, okay. Well, well it seems like it's fairly not bad. I guess you think there's a boss fight somewhere over here beyond the radius. Um, let's check what this location is, because it seems like the most vast and open, probably easiest to. There's a reason why it's not open. Okay. Okie dokie, okie dokie. Okay. Actually. Oh shit. Oh shit. Here we go. Uh, and there's hold on. our first challenger. There Show me what you got, Cloud. <laughs> Let's do this. See ya. Oh no. Tifa, Tifa. Tifa, I got you, girl. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Can we 
Wow. For them to respawn. So that's what a soldier looks like in action. This oh, was yeah, just take a good look. <laughs> I'll bet. Let's keep at it. Yes. As you command, my lady. Oh, but first, first, I gotta take a little break. I'll be back. I'll be back. Don't worry. I'll be back. There we go. I'm gonna save the game. Save the game real quick. Let's see how long I've been playing on this one. Yeah, almost an hour. All right, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. I'll check back with you guys in a little bit. I gotta go get something to eat. I'll check back with you guys. I'll see you guys later in the next part. Bye-bye. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe, hit that like button, and feel free to share the video. And I'll see you guys next time.